Hey, 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 lovelies. How are we all doing today? I hope your day is going amazing. And thank you for taking some time to visit little old me today. <laughs> this is Sims 4 Reality Show Central. And today we're continuing week 4 of Sims Big Brother 2. I appreciate you and I hope you enjoy the show. Previously on Sims Big Brother 2. House guests enter Invisible Week as the results of the HOH and POV competitions are kept a secret. They had to create social media profiles and gain some followers, but nobody truly knows who the HOH is. The hottest alliance is formed with Vic, Jacob, and Billy, while Doris leaves the Juicy Jamboree after a fight with Jason. Maximo and Makana's rivalry takes a turn for the worse, and so does Arvid and Jacob. At the nomination ceremony, the secret HOH nominated Kane and Maximo for eviction. Who will be the fourth house guest to leave the house, and who is the invisible HOH? All will be revealed in due time. It is POV morning in the Sims Big Brother house and Vikram is smiling at the half nuts misery. <laughs> Arvid continues to be frightened by the same two mice. The, uh, Vikram! Did you steal the gold? Uh, I, mean, I mean the cheese? Oh, he's just chowing down right now. <laughs> I mean, food is food, you know. Uh, I think Vikram low-key started a trend because everyone's doing it now. <laughs> I mean, at least this table in the bedroom is finally getting some use. Nisha and Barbie hit it off in the have-nots room, and the others are either here for mac and cheese or the mice gallery. <laughs> These poor have-nots are completely disregarded. <laughs> well, isn't this bedroom just lively? Lily's happily chatting with Sienna and Arvid's annoyed. Like, keep it down, I barely got any sleep. But Sienna's been getting close to everybody in the Tattoo Kingdom Alliance, so she's the newest member. I also cannot add her officially in here since she's already in three clubs, but she's here in spirit. I don't know if Arvid is fully sold on the idea, but he's not about to say no in front of Sienna, so... Yeah. Maybe... Benet... Ding dong, wakey wakey sleepyhead, it's time for the POV competition. No washing up or anything, we're going straight downstairs into the basement. Let's see what's in store for our house guest today. Oh, a secret, eh? Oh, I love a good reveal. Oh, Hiram, please. Um, Hiram? Kiala ho apili? The, the cookie Sulani leader? Let's pick our POV players today. Since there's a secret HOH, you both get to pick two people. We'll let the angry Maximo spin first. Bayo! Okay, Bayo is a good friend of Maximo, so this could be the silver lining he needs. Kane spins next and gets... Nisha! Not sure if she likes either of them, but she gets to redeem herself with another POV, hopefully. Maximo spins again... for Vikram! I don't think Vikram has a connection to either nominees either, but it's nice that he gets to play in a POV finally. And the final contestant is... DC! Ooh, one of Kane's best buddies! Plus, DC has played in every POV so far and won none, so maybe his luck will change today. Alright, let's have Avery back to present our POV competition. What's up, house guests? Nice to see you again. Ready for the grand reveal? For your POV competition today, you will deal with... Children! Toddlers, to be exact. I hate children myself, which is precisely why I'm subjecting you to the torture. The six lucky house guests will be randomly assigned a child, and you will have to teach them to talk. After one learning session, the toddler with the highest communication skill points will win the corresponding house guest the POV, in secret. 
the toddlers can barely talk, so we're not afraid of them spoiling it to you, house guests. Good luck! We don't want to be you! Our six house guests have been assigned a toddler at random! Look at them! Aren't they all so cute? Oh, uh, DC looks a little worried. <laughs> I guess this child is having a bad hair day? Anyway, begin the class! Surprised the toddler can hear or see through their bag, but yeah. Oh my god! Maximo is putting on a pleasant face for a child? We stand character development! Uh, well, that didn't last long. Minzei, Lepita? Yarl, Lamima Goyep Hogra. Unkim Panipa Spoid! Phenaeum! Walbish Babanev! <laughs> Sir! <laughs> not stressful decor! He's treating them like objects, oh my god. Bayo doesn't particularly trust children, but he'll put on a straight face for them. In the name of competition! Oh, Vikram isn't even hiding his disdain for this child. <laughs> Open base whips! Donafario Yamisha. <laughs> Help! None of them are excited about this. <laughs> this kid's like, hello, tell me something, please. Kane is not amused by this at all. <laughs> Nisha's pretty much the only person with a consistent smile, and she has a very excited toddler too. Chonkabi, Shadashu, Kanumi. DC! <laughs> Oh, please, they're crying! Just say something, DC! He's absolutely terrified of this child or something. Well, they're all babbling, so I guess that's progress? Bayo, stop being paranoid! This child will not do anything to you! My goodness, Maximo is actually very focused on teaching this kid. And she's paying all her attention too. Oh, oh my god. Maximo may actually have a shot at this challenge today. Kane's toddler is just spewing gibberish at this point, and Kane is absolutely displeased. Hey, this is on you, man. You're the teacher. Rabla, pay fin quofi. Vips wabi tabe. Barb fenig. Sabade bada. Oh, Nisha's being a great teacher! She's telling stories and all. Hopefully that isn't too much for the toddlers. I mean, she's having a good time. Vikram, you have to say things so they can follow after you. Don't hurt her! <laughs> Teach her your ways! She's doing her best, okay? Palachaba... <laughs> Bayo begins to follow Nisha's lead with some storytelling. Maybe that will help the child learn a little better. The spectators are being very dramatic, but <laughs> uh, they aren't particularly enjoying the watching experience either. DC finally made some headway with this toddler, and he's very proud of his efforts. Oh, okay! Nisha finishes her session first, followed by Vikram. And best buddies Kane and DC finish next. And now we're left with the other best buddies, Bayo and Maximo. And Maximo finishes shortly, although he's a little embarrassed. Oh, Aram Boy? Ben and Grabe? Excellent, You ship. <laughs> We're waiting on Bayo now to finish with his toddler. <laughs> okay, yes! Well, thank you for being so kind to our children today, house guests. We will check their communication skill points and return them promptly to the scary orphanage lady. The POV winner will be notified in secret, and they will make their decision in secret as well. Alright, uh, I'll see you a lot back upstairs. Billy checks in with Vikram once they're upstairs and listens to him brag about his coaching skills. Oh, oh, Nisha and Kane hugged! Oh, I didn't know they were that close of friends. Or maybe he's just trying to appease her so she'll use the POV on him if she wanted. Jason gets a turn with the cauldron and stirs the mac and cheese with the comically large spoon. 
Believe that appears again to check in with Jason. Or uh, talk about herself again? Sienna and Arvid continue to socialize and become even closer friends. While Vic... Oh, oh Vic. <laughs> oh my god, sorry. <laughs> he fell. Uh, but here's Barbie, also trying to get too close to Vikram as we speak. Ooh, looky here! There's actually people in the pantry! Bronte's warming herself up, so it's probably like a colder day today. Bacana takes this chance to vet about everybody in the house, but Bronte's not about all that. No complaining or gossiping under her watch. She's loyal to all her buddies. Trangella, Grenoi Bars, uh, Calgoey, Dabao Saba, Planide Veruda, Quofi, Dabki Pei Finn, Nerkska, Sherard, Ozani. Oh, okay! More people entered to talk to Bronte after Makana left. I mean, it's mainly Vic making everybody laugh. <laughs> oh, hey, here comes Sienna too! She's, uh, really vibing with Bronte's loyalty? Jason's been loving the Crumbs company, and after scoping out some of his other connections, he feels confident enough to include him in the Billy, Barbie, and Ken alliance, since Vic is also close with Barbie and Billy. The alliance name is renamed to Barbies and Ken, since Vic is definitely a Barbie, and Jason's just Ken. Oh, you bet he's feeling himself with all the attention they're getting this week. Bit of wicks, me chow, bit moisa. Come right. Lenarga Mibi, Shui Bao. Bluni Fronge, Marble Bean. Moishi, Fiba Fweb. Fluffy Yaspa. Ship Noi. Shibi Merpina. Moa. Beverly! <laughs> She's asking Vikram out on a date? Oh, Vikram's getting action in and out of the house. Barbie's opinion of Jacob's has changed for the better. Probably since Billy has also a good opinion of him. They're actually talking happily now. And Maximo's just watching. Makana has gathered most of Makana's angels plus DC to hopefully sway the votes to Maximo's demise. Plus, we gotta save Kane, right? Rixel Kimba. Smine Thurzo. Close to Hibene. Happy um Evane. Jeruk Kelka. Dalish, Sway be, uh, Lanzaya. Ooh. Uh, eh. Uh, Jeruk Kelka. Jason then divulges all that information to Nisha and Sienna, uh, over the fence. <laughs> and Maximo's here to eavesdrop, I guess? Oh, get out of here, Maximo. You don't use a telescope. Alright, come on in, pretty people. It's time for the POV ceremony. Okay, okay. Since the POV winner is a secret for now, I am back to present to you their decision. Maximo and Kane. The POV holder has decided not to use the POV on either of you, which means you are the final nominees of the week. In 24 hours, the house guests will vote to evict one of you from the Big Brother house. This POV ceremony is adjourned. Jason and Bronte touch base after the ceremony. Like, we are so saving Kane, right? Boma, Floreeb Essenoy, Brain and Dumma. Gilna! Oh, Billy, <laughs> did you throw away Arvid's masterpiece to make your own? <laughs> I mean, this is also a work of art, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Ooh, Maximo's joining the girls for some mac and cheese, okay. He actually starts up a conversation to campaign for himself, and Doris is receiving it pretty well. Yes, and Arp? And soon, Bafatamoy. Ah, Quexinas. Menard Palifa. So kadem. Ah, Zawong. Numiv. Hibana. Oh, they can sit crisscross applesauce on the beds now. How cute. Billy and Arvid discuss the vote while Doris is very unassumingly listening outside the have nots room. <laughs> Kane campaigns to Nisha, who is slowly getting closer to him. She definitely doesn't have the POV if she didn't use it on him, so hopefully she'll at least get her vote to stay. Maximo tries to apologize to Makana, but she's not interested in hearing another word that he has to say. 
Snow Bay Fleezer. <laughs> Pippa Tau. Tina Ziffle. Zerpo Noosh. Uh, wait. He's electrocuted? Maximo! Were you fixing the stove or the fridge? Don't die before the eviction ceremony, please. <laughs> here, here, get some rest. You're gonna need to put in a lot of work to stay tomorrow. The have-nots are awake early again after a rough night with the chittering besties here, and the crumb decides this is the best time to sway the world a little bit. Not sure if Bronte's the right person to share this info with, though. Oh, Harfin Wanu. Fumbo Fuba. Bronte is pretty reluctant to go along with this. I mean, Kate is her alliance member after all. Yes. Jason hears about Vic's plea from Bronte and immediately comes to shut him down. I don't know about shouting out your new alliance member, but it's very Jason of him to do that. Panalunkeem? <laughs> Sinara. Harvid woke up and chose violence today, insulting Jacob for whatever reason. <laughs> oh, now they're both angry. And meanwhile, you have Maximo doing push ups on the bathroom floor. Okay. Jason then goes to clear the air with Kane, guaranteeing that he'll be okay. Polina or bees. Today. Narbo Shoib. Nalfi Duba. Maximo wakes up in a good mood today, and he's ready to campaign for his life in the house. He's enlisting the help of his workout buddy, starting with DC. There's also Arvid in the mix, hoping to make a little move of sorts, as usual. Belindi. <laughs> The crowd continues to sway people with his agenda, but Jason's kinda over it at this point. <laughs> Thankfully, there's a Nisha here to help them see the best of both worlds. The crumb isn't the only one though. Billy has been wanting Kane out since week freaking two, and this is the prime opportunity to strike. Gahara Shwaby. Snow Sigarzo. Sharp Janil. Vanu In a plovar. Nisha pops back out to engage in the conversation. She's kind of waking waves this week, finally entering game mode with her newfound Tattoo Kingdom Alliance. Kane and Doris made an official pact in week one, so he's hoping Doris will honor that for his eviction. They don't share an alliance right now, but they're definitely close friends. Jacob is feeling very sad seeing Vic and Jason start to go so close, and he decides to be dramatic and refuse a hug from Vic, and give him a taste of betrayal. <gasps> Jacob! <laughs> Even Jason is shook. He is very angry and he's going over the edge today. Oop. <laughs> Vic just uh, makes fun of them both. Jacob doesn't hesitate to yell at Jason too, though, just to air out all his grievances. <laughs> Ooh, this is a full on gay fight now. Vic and Jacob take their fight to the bedroom, and Makana arrives. Oh, Makana? <laughs> she said, Yeah, I am out. She's not getting in the middle of this lover squabble. Meanwhile, right above their heads, Arvid is going around gathering opinions on the vote. But Billy has a little proposition for Arvid, seeing him getting so close to Barbie as of recent. And Barbie is added to the Tattoo Kingdom Alliance. Whew, this is basically Barbie's Dreamhouse 2.0, but without Doris. <laughs> and I'm renaming this to the Fashion Queendom, since this is hardly a kingdom or about tattoos anymore. Enjoy the new alliance, girls! I mean, Arvid's kind of a queen at times. Worst Spagatuni! Maximo and Bayo are the handyman duo of the house now, and they've come to fix the toilet, but they're not leaving without some campaigning. Dobe! Dobe Leroy! Arpanaya! Ubado Brig! Huh? Meanwhile, Doris and Kane have solidified their bond after chilling at the pool for the past few hours. He's pretty relieved. Well, it is time for eviction, so get dressed and look pretty, people! 
Okay, Billy, Billy, not allowed. Uh, no more mac and cheese for you. Maximo and Kane. In just a few moments, your house guests will vote to evict one of you from the Big Brother house. I hope you put in the work and all the best. And since the HOH is a secret, they will go to vote like the rest of you, but their vote is only counted in the event of a tie. Let's go! Arvid is up first. Uchima, Kwafika Daki, Abenu, Nerkska, Sharar, Kazani, Safis, Camus, Rixel, Kimba, Saman, Thurzo. Horbin, <sighs> Davy, Kolb, Tinai. Ulak, Yum, Snorzo Garzo, Sharp Janil. Alright, thanks for voting, house guests. Maximo and Kane, the votes are tallied. And by a vote of 10 to 2. Maximo, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. I'm sorry, but please pack your belongings and exit the front door. Oh, Maximo. <laughs> he was a lot to deal with, but also super fun to watch terrorize the house guests. <laughs> I will sure... Maximo? Ma Maximo, wait. <laughs> oh, he left in such a hurry. Please! Um, yeah, uh, that's it, I guess. <laughs> they haven't even finished getting in position yet. Let's welcome to the stage, Maximo! Our fourth house guest evicted from the Big Brother house. Here, here, take a seat and talk a little ah. first. It's kind of mandatory. Uh -huh. So, Get Maximo, uh, you took a very hasty exit without saying anything to your fellow house guests. What gives? Aspa. Fluke with Zoo. Congolai. Rangoya Umbix. Wiffaloy Yerbik. Tenkwa. Song, well, uh, it seems like you didn't get along with many house guests at all. <laughs> you have a very mischievous spirit. Do you think that affected your game a little bit? Jensiba, Lanza, Maru, Kongolai, Rangoya Umbix. <laughs> you are hilarious, Maximo. So, this week's HOH was a secret. Do you have any idea who would have nominated you? Ah, it's a ya. Osgoo. Ooh. Gravis. Reddish, eh? Well, uh, maybe they can reveal themselves to you. Let's tune in to some of your goodbye messages, shall we? Scooba Chew. Crap that Pelzo. Liv. Weevil Pepso. Watsu Gore. Fredoy Narble. Habershe. Zigona Teeps. Buster Boon. Wapa Tuba Washi. Bow out for Algama. Chilo Livka, Prober Baza, Singula Yamishka, Ishidor Nayak, Vita, Narble for Boy, Zabris Fosha. Ta da! So it was Vikram who put you in this predicament. What do you think of the reveal? And any final words? Lunch. Chilo Pifatel by Fangtura. Prowess Fredishe. You Beppa. <laughs> Aspa. Floof with zoo. That is quite the suggestion. <laughs> well, thank you, Maximo. You were super duper fun to watch, and I'm sure somebody out there will miss you like I will. We bid farewell to the great Maximo as his photo turns grey before our very eyes. Before we move on, I will review the results of the competitions this week. So yes, the Vikram has won both the HOH and the POV of this week, so he claims full power. For the social media HOH, I took some screenshots of the total followers of each house guest, so here they are. Jason took an early lead with 225 followers. And the others kind of float around 200 or above and below, but Vikram ultimately beat Jason out with 230 followers. Such a close call. We had to cut out multiple confessionals of him flaunting his win, but we can finally show them here. Beth Digger Shoy, Brett No Quid, uh, Moishi, uh, Viva Fwabe, Swande Shwema, uh, Binarp Shelves, Singula Yamishka, Ishidorp Nayap, 
During the Talking Toddlers POV competition, Maximo actually did well enough to get an 87% with his toddler. She was very sad though after the fact. <laughs> but Vikram has him beat with another very close 89%. I guess tough love really does get people far sometimes. Nisha was the third closest with 84, while the others kinda just flunked it. And there you have it! The secret is finally revealed! Only to you, the viewers, though. <laughs> Well, another slightly predictable week with only two votes by Bayo and Billy to save Maximo. I think we all saw this coming once Maximo was left on the block as the final nominee. <laughs> At least those two votes are keeping Kane on his toes, maybe. What can I say about Maximo? Uh, I enjoyed his presence, but I also understand if most of y'all found him annoying. <laughs> I love sims that are just like a walking meme, you know. Loki, I'm just happy he survived long enough to reach the toddler challenge. <laughs> And here is the chart post week 4. I don't have too much to add here besides Bayo and Billy really hate Kate's guts. My god. <laughs> Did you guess the secret HOH correctly? I mean, if we base it off of last week, it's kind of between Bayo, Billy, and Vikram. And I did see all three of those names get picked as the potential secret HOH, so give yourself a pat on the back if you made the correct guess. <laughs> Alliances! They're kind of only increasing as the season goes by, and some are only like one or two members apart from each other, like Barbie Streamhouse and Fashion Queendom have like three of the same members. Most of them voted together though, aside from the stray uh, Billy or Bayo votes, that is. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to include that Arvid left the Teletubbies alliance after a continuous run-in with Jacob. I don't think that alliance will last much longer if I'm being honest. <laughs> but we shall see! Power rankings are coming next, so if you want to avoid spoilers in that case, I thank you for watching and I hope you take good care of yourself. Power rankings time! In third place this week is the previous reigning champion, Billy. Billy continues to have good strong relationships and she's the glue to many alliances in the house. However, she's overtaken this week by a newcomer. In second place is... Nisha! Eek! I'm so happy she's finally getting recognition. Nisha has always been solid in the game, but I think this week she really tried to stand out and connect with her alliance mates, and she rightfully stands on the podium. But taking first place this week is... Sienna! The woman who was in a rut the first week has the greatest turnaround I've ever seen in my shows. She bulldozed her competition and climbed to the top of her relationships. She's definitely the one to watch right now. This also marks the first week that Makana has fallen out of the top 3, and she low-key had quite a steep drop. Oop. <laughs> but we still love to see the ladies at the top. And that is all I have for you today! I hope that was an exciting week to witness despite the outcome. <laughs> Next week will definitely be a treat though, so stay tuned! And if you haven't, there's a little link in the description for the Discord server if you'd like to join and discuss the episodes with our community there. I appreciate you for watching and reacting, and I will see you in the next episode for more shenanigans! Bye!